What's up everybody, welcome back to another drawing tutorial. So today we're going to be doing Kendo from My Hero Academia. So we're going to be on a landscape orientation page. Use a pencil and hit pause if I go too fast. So we're going to start with her eyes. So center point of my page is about here. I'd say that's where her nose might end up being, approximately. Up a little bit, time a little bit. Pretty close to the middle with Kendo's eyes here, because they're quite big. So up, over to the right hand side. Might be, you, you might get away with putting her eyes on the actual middle line if you want it, or a little bit higher. So it's up to you. We'll go middle line, why not? So curve line, standard kind of anime eyes. Start with the curve line. And then we're gonna thicken this up. So I'm gonna like add a sort of a thicker curve, bigger line. And some of this will go in, underneath her hair. So this corner here will go underneath hair. And she can have like a spike sticking off the end here. So then this is gonna come down the back, just down into here. Curves back like that. Pretty typical sort of style anime eye. So, and she could have some eyelashes sort of sticking up here as well. Like so. So for her bottom eyelid, there isn't much in the way of eyelid. It's just sort of these eyelashes coming around like so. It's a, not really an eyelid, just sort of dashes for eyelashes. And then her iris, her eye inside, the colour part of her eye is just an oval with the top cut off. The top goes underneath her eyelid. See that? And then inside another oval, a full oval this time. Like so. And her eyes are actually white inside her pupils. They're white, so you don't need to colour them in. So then her next, her other eye, just starts over here. So it's about an half an eye distance can fit inside because in My Hero Academia, the eyes are bigger than standard human eyes. So it's probably like half her eye, the width of her eye will fit in between and that's where the next eye is gonna start. So we carve it over. Come back down to here. And then again, we're gonna thicken it up. it down this way and we'll add a bit of a spike or something sticking off here like another eyelash and then some eyelashes sticking up the back And then eyelashes on the bottom of her eye. So again, not nothing in the way of like actual eyelid line, just these sorts of dashes, three or four of them. Just down there. And then a long oval for her iris again, curving down. Back up and then a long one inside. So, she could have eyelid lines, kind of just these lines just here. And then her nose, just a sort of a dash, kind of just there. Her mouth then is two lines, so that don't join. So it's like, it's a standard sort of smile and it starts kind of underneath the inside of her eye here. comes across like so, and then the other side will do something similar, but they don't join together. Like 
pretty common in anime. That kind of mouth that has a gap in between the two lines for the, the center of the mouth. So, chin. Chin just here, curves down. She's a real round sort of face, so no like strong features or anything like that. It's just it's very curvy. So you can check proportions of the thing. The eyes to the bottom of the nose there is about the same as bottom of the nose to chin. See the, the pupil to her nose, the bottom of it, about the same as bottom of her nose to her chin. Okay, and bottom of the nose to where her bottom lip would be if we drew it in here to here is about the same as there to there. So standard human proportion that way, it's just the eyes are real big. So then the jaw. Up like so. Up like so. And we're just gonna curve it around gently. We're not gonna, it's not gonna be like a big strong jaw or anything. It just curves up like so. Same on that side. So we will, she has eyebrows and a mask on as well, but we'll add her fringe for her hair first because the mask and eyebrows are underneath her fringe. So we'll do the hair first. So hair comes down just past this eye onto her face. Back up to there. And then up here. And then we go in towards the middle like so. Another spike coming down that way. Back up. Another here. Some sort of hair lines like so. Another spike there. Down out that way. Another one here. And down onto her face on this side, and back up to there. Right, so we can see, how can we see of her mask and her eyebrows? Can you see her eyebrows under her mask? Yeah, okay. So, eyebrows just here, so go across, like so, and it will add maybe a bit longer. We'll add a section that you can color in, so the same color as her hair. Just goes across there. And then the same pretty much on this side. Curves across and add a sort of section that you can color. And then her mask, so it, it kind of comes underneath her eyes here. Like so, and it curves over her nose down, back up, the other side, like so. And then it's gonna go in around underneath her eyes, so it's gonna go like this. Like so. And pretty similar on this side, so curves down. Like so. And I think it goes underneath her hair and kind of comes out the top of her head somewhere. Just above her eyebrows, I think. Let's check. Yeah, it looks like it comes around here. It's like big black sort of curve. I don't like so. So then the rest of her hair. Spiking out here. More spikes. So she's got like two pieces of hair that hang down here. Like they're kind of part of her fringe or something like that. And same on this side, so spiking. I remember hair moves, Yours, your hair doesn't have to be exactly like mine. Yeah, you know, the spikes don't have to be in the perfect exact direction. 
just as long as they're sort of generally pointing down here and then they have a long section sort of on the side of her head here like this. So, right, so she has a ponytail, right? So we got like um, lines sticking up into this. So like something here and then the inside of that like there the outside of it here we got like lines going in so this is like the hair area that's tied up right and then this is going to stick out and it's going to generally come down and we'll go how far let's see could go all the way actually off. Yeah, off the bottom of my page, right? Real long ponytail on her. And then another line for it sticks out here, down. Comes kind of across her shoulder. And then maybe like a hair spike or two sticking down this way. And another piece here. And we have a bit that goes behind her shoulder. So it comes out from behind her ear. And her ear's in here. I forgot her ear. There. And... So that goes down. Kind of goes in behind her shoulder somewhere here. So this line comes up. Could have some more texture lines just here. This is like all hair and then hair spikes on top of her head so it goes up pretty straight sticking right up there back down like so and another one there And maybe a smaller one here. Like that. And then like so. Like so, right, so then her neck. So neck comes down side here. We'll come down here. And then she's got a sort of a Chinese sort of costume on that has like this collar like so. It looks Chinese to me anyway. Comes across here, down in the middle, out around behind her neck then this comes back in down down the center and down kind of sticks out here bumps for her shoulder just there and then the other side so we'll go down a bit like so and it comes across here Curve line there and shoulder. Like so. And then the side of her body and maybe curve there for the start of her chest. And maybe like a collarbone and you can't really see or other one so her shoulders in here somewhere maybe down. 
Maybe we can see some of her shoulder here. Put line her hair and around, maybe, yeah. That and then, so she's got like these clasps that hold on her clothing, her closes, clasps with two like sort of bumps on the end and then there's a line that kind of joins them. Like so, and it goes up to there. It's a double line, so it has another edge. Like so. So. Then. I think that's everything. That's how to draw Ken... Kendo. From My Hero Academia. Hope it was helpful, guys. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one.